I keep pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Yes, I am playing with the camera, trying to get it to work right for me. Harry's coming over here. I fixed it, I fixed it. It says record. I look human. Do I need to go? Do I? <laughs> At least I think I, I think I look human. There's Harry, he's peeking. He's making sure. Wendy's working the camera. I don't know if By I'm working God, very well. I think she's got Can it. Did I do it? Woo! Anyway, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to all the new folks and welcome back everybody to Wendy's Crazy Channel. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys watched our um, vlog from yesterday. It was our anniversary and we weren't on the egg diet. We had uh, New York steak for dinner, but... After I went to close out the vlog, I decided we needed one more thing for our anniversary. And I'm not going to tell you. You guys have to go back and watch because we went somewhere and bought something. And you guys have to see it to believe it. But we did it. Anyway, yes, I weighed myself this morning and I fully expected to go up. And I did. Was it 102, Harry? What was it? What did you, no, Harry, that real, that, Harry. That was it, 102. No. <laughs> yeah. And I'm this big. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boy, am I really, uh, let me look at my phone here. See, I got my phone so I can do both now. I can multitask, maybe. So maybe I can multitask. So, oh, no, I'm even worse than I thought I was. I weighed 183.2, but it's all water weight. It's all water weight. I know it is. I know it is. Harry, ooh, he was 187.4 this morning, you guys. But we did have alcohol. Was it keto? Yes, everything we had, maybe, was keto. But you have to watch it yesterday's all the way to the end to see, to see what we did. But it was our anniversary, 36 years of happy blooded whist, right, Harry Shinsky, cameraman? Oh, he's got his earphones on. Take your earphones. What? Yeah. I said, he scared me for a minute. I said we had 36 years of happy wedded bliss. Say yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please say yes. Yeah, but we've been together for 38. Yeah, we've been together 38 years. So, um, sorry, I'm putting that stuff away. Anyway, anyway. She was a lot go. of fun in, in her 20s. Well, I'm still fun, and I won't <laughs> tell you what I'm in now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> several decades have gone by. Yeah. <laughs> it was several. Several. But anyway, I was just a babe. Yeah, yes, yeah. I was just a babe. He found me and I was just a babe. Yeah. Anyway. And I was a virgin. So. Uh huh. Right. Marty, this is a family friendly video. It's got to be good. They probably did. Yeah. This camera has ears. Not like Alexa. But this camera does. Anyway, folks, so what Harry and I are doing this morning is we both had our coffee. Yes, I had it with my BioTrust unflavored um, collagen, and I had it with stevia and just a cap full of the, um, I don't know what to do with my hands because I'm not holding a camera anymore. So um, we had it with uh, that vanilla cream, caramel cream, vanilla caramel cream skinny syrup which is really good the jordan skinny syrup that was really good i put just a capful i put some uh, english toffee stevia in it and made a sweet rich coffee this morning i put two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream in it and i just opened up a mango matic rain because i'm going to try to intermittent fast at least until lunchtime. my mom watched she's so cute she watched the video where i made those um chaffles and she goes can you make chaffles tomorrow night for us and i she's got a sweet tooth every time we go to the store i'm buying her ice cream like every time she wants ice cream she eats those she has a little candy dish with those 
little never mind I don't want to go non keto but anyway she she's got quite the sweet tooth anyway so I'm gonna make truffles tonight and eggs and then for lunch when we break our fast I think I'm just having three scrambled eggs that's what I think I'm having I think that's what I'm having this is good this mango matic is very very mangoey my nose, Ooh, my I'm taste. Having, I'm having mango peach. Oh, Harry's having a bang. He's having the peach mango. So we're both mangoing it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's going to finish off his bangs, and then he's going to jump onto the rain, tra rain train with me. Yeah. Just so that we have just, we get, when we go shopping, we just get all of one kind. And I do like the Ons. I like those for the afternoon and they're very, very good. Um, they just don't give you that boost that um, like a rain or a bang does. So anyway, it's delicious. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, folks, let me know. I'm, I'm doing the egg fast for at least until Monday. I'm, I'm going to do like two full weeks. Um, I'm taking the, um, I'm a hand talker. I'm going to take the um, anniversary out of the equation and I'm going to jump on the bank. I really, really want to get into the 170s. I know what I ate yesterday didn't help any, but that was our anniversary. So anyway, hopefully I will do that. And I want this weekend, I'm off Friday, so Harry and I are going to work on that back room Friday. Aren't we, Harry? Say yes. He's got his headphones Harry's on. Harry's not here right now. <laughs> he's, he Please keeps leave giving your message. Me, it's the he's giving me the stink eye. Because he's sitting across from me. And he's wearing earphones. Here, I'll share with everybody. Here, look. Harry. Wave. Can you see me? Here I am. And your earphones. He wears his earphones because I have to do calls and, and stuff over here. Well, so, But then, see, when he's over there saying naughty words and stuff, it's like, shh. Just because you have earphones doesn't mean your mouth doesn't make noise. <laughs> anyway, Harry's going to um, hold out until I break my fast. And he's back on the beef bandwagon. I, I ground all, I cooked all that ground beef. Sorry, my screen just went. Hope I didn't lose it. I'm working from home, so I have to VPN, and anytime it locks me and goes to my login, then I have to start all over and get this approval through my cell phone, and it's a big thing. So I try not to let it go that far. But if you don't do something in it, if you're not actively typing, then I think it only stays dormant. Uh, with nothing to do for 10 or 15 minutes and then it auto locks. So I got to start all over again. So I do have to watch that. You guys like my seahorse top? I'll show you a picture at the end. I got this one and I got my um, flamingo top at the same time. And I love it. I love it, love it. And then I got seahorse, seahorses. Well, it's all it about the seahorses. It's all about the seahorses. It's all about the seahorses. I'm worried because I'm afraid I'm going to catch this on something, but it's beautiful. They were fun. They were on sale. 40% off. Woohoo! So, anyway, I've got those. Yeah, well, wait a minute. She saved 40%, but that means. I did, she so can, I got two. Wait a minute. That means she could spend the 40% on something That's else. That's right. I even did. though it costs more than. Anyway, this is this weird math. And it works that for I me. Don't understand. The math works for me. He promised me a new wardrobe and I got one for sure. Anyway, well, I mean, you guys, I was in like an 1820 and I'm down to a 12. And I'm in me this is a medium top. Some tops are largest, some are mediums. They only had medium left in the flamingo and in this seahorse top, and I was really worried that it wouldn't fit. But it fits, and I'll share you guys pictures of it. I didn't know is that it had this really sparkly stuff on it. I didn't know that. I just mm. liked the seahorse and I liked the flamingos and I thought they were cute. And I thought they'd go with my shoes. Because I have Fluvog bips on today. And you guys will see that in my picture. But that is not keto, so we'll go back into keto. Anyway, folks. 
all you folks who are still doing the egg fast or beef fast, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Tell me how many, how, when you guys started. If you didn't already do that, and tell me how much weight you guys have lost so far. I'm so excited for everybody. You guys, right now we have meat and we have eggs. And if you don't have meat, I would suggest you go to the store and you get some. Because more and more meat packing places are closing. And we will go through a meat shortage. I can tell you that. So what I've done is my freezer is full and I think what Harry and I've decided to do is we're going to go to the market and buy more meat and eat that meat and leave our freezer alone. Um, I had to grab New York steaks out of our freezer because they aren't getting the New York or ribeye. I haven't seen a New York or ribeye in the market. They've had the less expensive cut of meats lately but I intend to buy the meat and eat the meat and leave my freezer intact because I know there will be a meat shortage and I mean it's terrible you know and I don't want to bring anybody down or anything and I don't want to frighten anybody but it is what it is and it is happening and hopefully there won't be and hopefully I'll be wrong but just like everything else at my store sometimes there's dairy Sometimes the dairy is gone, like ice cream, gone. If you guys look at my shopping vlogs where I take you into the market, sometimes there's eggs. This last time, they even took the sign down. Hickman's Farms came through at Bashes, and Bashes had eggs, and they took the sign down. That's the first time since the pandemic that it that sign has been gone, and I was able to get two of the 18 packs and then one dozen eggs from my mom. So I would just suggest, don't go crazy, but I would suggest that you guys have enough meat in your freezer, you know, so that you can get past this. Because I have a feeling it may not be completely gone, but it may be more limited than what we've had so far. Because Smithfield, JBS, and Tyson, those three are the major the 80% majority of who packs our meat in the United States of America, just so you know. And they're trying to get um, uh, oh, safety measures in place so that their uh, employees, but they work elbow to elbow with one another. I mean, they're working like this close to one another and they have COVID going through their plants like wildfire. So they're trying to put partitions up and gloves and masks and different safety measure measures so that they can get their employees back online rather quickly because, you know, it's like a domino effect. When you don't, when you're not taking your animals to the market and you have all these animals and you can't sell them, that's a lot of money to feed. One farmer had 42,500 pigs and he can't sell them. And he's got babies on the way and he, he can't feed them. I mean, he, he fatted them up for market and wanted them to go and now they can't take them. So it's gonna be like them dumping all those containers of milk. They're gonna be slaughtering animals and not feeding anybody, you guys. It's crazy. I don't want to come down in the video and I didn't mean to get off track. But anyway, I would just suggest you guys keep your pantry and your refrigerator stocked. Wear a mask, wear gloves, whatever you feel safe doing. But I would make sure you don't run out of anything. And just keep ahead of it. Just keep ahead of it. Have some canned meats. Have some Spam. Have some canned ham. Have some canned chicken. Have some canned tuna. Have some canned fish. Have some canned corned beef in the wings just to tide us over until we get over that little hump uh, and they get back to processing the meat. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, folks, I will share with you guys what I eat throughout the day. I will share everybody once I break my fast, but I'm really going to try to push it out and not eat because I am up. I am up, but I know I'll be down. So I will talk to everybody when I break my fast or when I think of something else to talk about because I can talk in case you hadn't noticed. Okay everybody it is 11:33, and we are going to break our fast and I'm going to have three eggs scrambled with some alterna spicy tomato ketchup on it 
Harry's going to have some beef. Do you want mayonnaise and mustard or do you want mayonnaise, butter? Mayonnaise and mustard. Mayonnaise and mustard on it. And it's going to be pretty easy because we're back on our, we're back on the, whoops, we're back on the beef and egg fast, folks. So I will share everybody once it's all plated and we're ready to eat. Hi, honey. Do you want beef and um, mustard and mayonnaise or beef and butter? Oh, I want the, the mayonnaise and the mustard. Well, we're ready to break our fast. We're back on the egg fast, beef fast today after our anniversary. It's 1134 and we're going to break our fast. I'm going to have three eggs. I'm going to scramble them. Harry's going to have some beef. I'm going to put spicy tomato ketchup on my eggs and Harry's going to have some um, avocado mayonnaise and mustard, organic yellow mustard on his. So I will weigh and measure and get all this stuff started and then I will come back and share with everybody when we're ready to eat. So my eggs are done. I just pulled Harry's beef out of the microwave where I nuked it all. Oops, careful, don't get, that's hot stove. And it is break fast. There we go, folks. Gotta put some ketchup. Cause I love ketchup on me. My scrambled eggs. Just a little bit. A little bit of iodine, salt on my eggs. I used, uh, Two, I used a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, three eggs, actually probably more like one and a half. Put some Redmond's Real Salt Himalayan mixture on everything. And I'm gonna put some pepper. Gotta get some pepper. See, Harry's got his mustard and mayonnaise mixture with some butt rub and some garlic salt. Mmm. And I've got my eggs. So we're gonna call this break fast. I'm gonna go eat it. We're back on track, back on the egg fast, be fast train. See everybody in a little bit. Well, I decided it is 1241 and I'm going to have one of these on amino energy drinks. And this one is blueberry lemonade. It's blueberry lemonade is the window. There you go, blueberry lemonade. Like Harry, that. come over here and try it. Let me open it. Let me give it a smell. Ooh, I smell blueberry. I smell blueberry and kind of a licorice smell. Blueberries and a kind of a licorice. That's interesting. Let me give it a taste test. Can you smell that little bit of a licorice? Very smell. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Ooh, that is good. I taste blueberry and lemon on the back end. I don't know where that, that licorice kind of smell came from. Very mild. Oh, that's kind of good. What do, what do you taste? Come down. Blueberries. And what else? You're apples. not allowed to taste apples. it. Apples. You I, taste I apples? Taste apple really? There. Yeah, I taste some apple in there. Blueberry, it's a very, this is very mild. Don't you think very mild? Mm -hmm. Taste something other than blueberries, so, but I do taste the blueberry. Not lemon, because it's it's blueberry be lemon. lemon. I taste lemon on the very back. Blueberries up front, lemon in the back. If you guys, yeah, you might be right. did you guys ever growing up? We used to get these blueberry mixes. I think Pillsbury made them, or one of the Betty Crocker or Pillsbury had to be one of the two. Mm -hmm. And inside, you got a can of wild blueberries. There was like a little can and you had to open the can and pour the can out and all that stuff in the in the mix. That's what this tastes like to me. Are those blueberries that were in that little can inside the box mixture of blueberries? Don't know if you guys ever made them or anything, but that's what it tastes like and that's what it smells. Very, very mild. I mean, very, very mild. And then... That, that mild blueberry with just a hint 
of lemon. Just like if you made a blueberry muffin and you just put some lemon um, rind, if you just um, put a little bit of lemon zest in it, that's what this tastes like. It's very good, you guys. Anyway, I just wanted to share that information with everybody. I'm gonna drink my drink now. like what you see please like subscribe ring that bell give us a thumbs up harry and i are back on course we've got chaffles and eggs and hopefully keep your fingers crossed we'll go down and lose that water weight that we gained yesterday on our anniversary hey you guys go check out the vlog on the anniversary because we did something at the end that we weren't planning on doing yeah anyway good night gotta eat now harry and